So, welcome to our series of experiments about flowing water. In our landscapes we see uh, rivers and streams that are snaking backwards and forwards and this phenomena is called the meander. And the meander is a very important phenomena for the whole ecology for the landscape and we are going to look a little bit nearer into how does the meander actually function. Is it just because water is the stream is meeting rocks and sand and mud and stones or is there something in the water itself? Here in our little experiment um, table we have a polished plastic um, uh, plate and you see the water, a little stream of water is running over it and it's holding together and it's moving backwards and forwards. And if I change the amount of water, increase the flow, we get more standing waves, it tends to go straighter. If I reduce the flow, this curving momentum within the stream can even almost take it upstream. And this is what is happening in a bigger scale in the landscape. There are different layers of water moving around each other. They give impulses to move the water one way or the other and it's always backwards and forwards. And this is a phenomenon we see in the landscape. We can see it in other patterns. We see it in nature, even in this uh, vine, and we can see it in the River Rhine. This is 35 kilometers long. The valley is quite wide and over 400 years it has been mapped out. You see how it's moved. It's a sandy valley and the river has changed. Now it's fixed. So our little experiment here is showing that water likes to snake backwards and forwards, but we can make it slower, less flow, and then it tends to stay within its own borders, set up against the plastic. And that reminds us of the river, or maybe our blood vessels, or the uh, vine. And this is a way by doing this experiment to begin to understand how can we regulate or deal with rivers and in different flow rates when there's a flood or if there's a, a dry season. So here this example, this experiment shows us quite a lot and we can put color in it later, it can take more time to begin to understand that the meander is not just from the landscape, it's actually from the water movement itself. Thank you very much.